I must say my life was good and it was filled with God and family overflowing. Then they cleared the land with hand axes and built the first three cabins of the settlement in 1853. I became wonderful with the cleaver. Let me tell you, I could really butcher chickens. And he wanted Oslag and I to build a dock, a deep water dock, the location of which is the Anderson Dock in Ethan. Life was wonderful. In 1945, everything changed. I was struck by another vehicle and I died instantly. One of the boats capsized and 15 passengers and four crew perished. And had killed seven of them by that disease. And they're buried on Eagle Island now in unmarked graves. The North Bay Indians would come to our house on Saturday nights and we'd all run and hide. Ephraim is still in my heart, and I know it'll be in your heart for years to come. We turned to Ephraim in 1858, but we had a purpose. We kept in communication with Reverend Iverson, and he wanted Oslag and I to build a dock, a deep water dock, the location of which is the Anderson Dock in Ephraim. And we said we would, but we wanted to be able to buy some land here at the same price that they paid for it as a community. I bought 58 acres, Oslag bought 110 acres at $1.16 an acre. Came here, built our dock, Oslag and I, with the assistance of some of the townspeople.